Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for August 2024. This is a love reading for all Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You have here Last Quarter Moon in Pisces. Talk less, feel more. Now we know that feelings have a vibration to them, a vibrational quality. So mind your feelings, really focus on that higher the higher part of the scale, the emotional vibrational scale when we're talking about feelings because we get what we are, we get what we feel. All right, you've got here new love, all right? You have embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. So if you're single, it may be about really getting into who you are as a person, understanding yourself, your spirituality on a deeper level. However, it also could be simmered down a bit, even a new person showing up, but let's consult the cards and see what else you need to know. All right, we are going to draw three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting three cards in the advice, plus we have this as a clarifier that came tumbling out the fool. Your energy is the Queen of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Pentacles. Their energy is the Hermit, the King of Pentacles, and the Death card. The advice here, we've got the Sun, Temperance. Oh my God, isn't that beautiful? And the Empress. Now, this is not the outcome, but the advice. It really is about being in flow, easy does it, being in the flow of love. Feeling love in every single thing you do, even if it's not exactly the highest on your on your list of things that you wanted to have happen. Seeing the good, as and Mr. Rogers talked about this, that his mom would tell him when he was growing up, look for the helpers. So even if you're going through something challenging, look for the helpers around you. Quite a few major arcana here. We have here seven major arcana out of 10 cards. That's significant, almost the whole reading. We have Scorpio. Virgo, Taurus, um, Sagittarius is here, Leo is here. All right, I was going to say Aquarius for some reason, but I, I mean, I don't see you in the cards other than that Queen of Swords. Now with this full energy, this is also about wiping the slate cr clean, it's freedom. So in terms of old emotional baggage, you're leaving that in the past and guess what? So are they. Their energy, they have, have the death card here. It's a very, this is transformational energy. It'll feel like the first time you've all been in love. It'll feel like one of those times where you say, I don't think I knew what love was before. And I can tell you this in my own life, there have been times earlier in my life when I was a bit younger that I had abandonment in love confused, okay? When those breakups happen and they hurt so deeply, sometimes it's a little more behind the scenes, a little more going on there than just the loss of a love. So, or the loss of a dream, really. But here's where you dream a new dream. Here's where you stand at the, the place of taking off together, soaring together. And with the energy of the fool, it really is light and easy. I feel like you're leaving behind things that have been heavy and difficult. So, with the Hierophant here, you do have a marriage. This represents your energy, by the way. I feel like you're going to make a fantastic partner here. You're going to find that people are very attracted to you in this energy. Now, the Queen of Swords shows that you've had some pain. She's also the widow of the tarot. But overall, it's really an indication that you've learned from those painful experiences. You're looking forward. You're not living in the past. It's okay to look in the rear view mirror, but just don't stare, right? We just don't want to get caught staring at the past or be resonating so closely with it that we just recreate it today. We want to move on. And that's exactly what you're doing. And so with the Queen of Swords, it's also about not lowering your standards. Be careful with that because you start aiming for low targets, you'll hit them. And then you'll go, what was I doing with that one? Oh my God. No. Okay. She has very high standards. I also feel like too, you're going to be quite witty in this energy. You've got a, you've got a, an energy of someone who's very trustworthy. That's how people are going to take you. They're going to get you as someone who's trustworthy, gentle, kind, 
but also witty and charismatic and intelligent. You've got great energy. So with the Ten of Pentacles, you're bringing in a partner, and it's somebody, too, where the two of you can look at each other across the room. Your communication is nonverbal, and it's like in a whole different galaxy. It is off the chart, the way that it just gives me chills. One of those things, too, where I feel like you'll be getting them, too, where you'll look at each other and say, this energy almost scares me, borderline, like you're starting to get into a higher realm of consciousness together. And it's because your souls are united. It's because you're soulmates. And so with the Hierophant energy, it's unity, it's devotion, it's honesty, integrity. And so not only does is that how you come across, it's what you're attracting. You're attracting one here who is also quite developed too, my friends. They have here with the her the energy of the hermit, this is somebody who really knows who they are. And with that king of pentacles, they may have quite a bit of uh, accomplishments on their list, but I feel like they're not going to walk in and rattle off their resume. This is somebody who knows how to kind of keep that stuff. And I feel like they do it almost intentionally. They don't want to separate themselves. They don't want to be different from everyone else by elevating themselves, even though they have had quite a bit of accomplishments, quite a few achievements here. With the energy of the hermit, though, they have a quiet wisdom. They're not. This is not somebody who's going to jam their ideas down your throat. I feel like, too, they keep themselves off of social media outlets where their politics or other personal values are concerned. They're, again, not trying to push and force their agenda on anyone. They have, I do feel like they have a very solid belief system, and it's one of integrity, like we talked about, somebody that does a whole lot of the next right thing, but they've got a wonderful, quiet leadership quality of humility about them that I feel like you're going to find very charming. And so with the energy of the hermit, they're guided. They have a bright light that shines. And I also feel like they attract quite a few people. It feels like people want their advice on things. And it's not that they won't give it, but I feel like they have to be asked. They're not trying again to tell everyone what to do. And so with this, I feel like it's someone who's very, it's very committed, but someone who is very trustworthy that, you know, you get what you see. There's nothing hidden here. There's no pitfalls. There's no danger in this reading whatsoever. And so with the energy of the death card here, it's a rebirth. If they had their heart broken too, and it seems unusual, like it was a circumstance where they may have aimed for a low target, hit it and got hooked in with someone they didn't belong with. I do, I absolve them of that. I mean, we, anybody can do it. But I do feel like you'll be surprised that they're single, that you'll almost kind of go, how can this person be single? Because they have it all together. There's so many people on this earth. And honestly, it's a way that people see you and say, how can you be single? And so I feel like you have someone who's a perfect fit, a perfect match. And it's really a relationship that evolves. And it's one to that it's built on love, that foundation of real love. There's no forcing, there's no efforting here. And with the energy too of the death card, I feel like this is someone who has resolved old relationship issues because that can be tough when you have somebody who has a crazed ex. Okay, crazed. Yeah, I use the word with a D. Um, and it's like they're almost having to get out, you know, court orders against them. No, it's like a third party in the relationship. Who wants that? This is a person who I feel like they take that high road. They've let things they've let things end before they begin something new. And so with this advice energy, it really is about standing in the sunlight of the spirit here. This is the kind of warmth and loving energy that people seek out their entire lives and you're stepping right into it. This is one of those times where stepping in it is a good thing. And so I feel like you have, like I said, a perfect partnership here. With the energy of the sun, it brings in real joy. It brings in passion. It's a relationship that knows no bounds. I just feel like there's nothing in the way of this. It's, it's wonderful. And the Archangel Michael and the energy of temperance brings in healing and support and protection. I feel like the both of you will do a good job of doing the right things for the relationship to grow. You know, behaving in a way that doesn't feel threatening or distracted or it, like you're checked out in some level. You know, there's nothing worse when you've got somebody who's not all there and it's like, this isn't really that fun. You're not each other's keepers, you're each other's lovers. And so with the energy of the Empress here, talk about love, it is an unconditional love. It's the kind of love that, like I said, people are going to be asking, where did you find each other and how can I get one? 
And so you might find too, they even want relationship counseling out of this. Now, if it is, it feels more like new love to me than an old flame coming back in because it's unfettered. There's nothing, there's nothing heavy about this at all. It feels easy and in like the right next thing to do. And so with the Empress energy, it's also fertility. So be aware of that. Um, if you are in the market or you're looking to expand your family, this is great energy to do that. But I do feel like overall it's a union that's blessed. Yes, it's in the cards here. It, it's the kind of relationship where I want updates. Okay, I want you to con contact me every couple months and tell me how this one's going because the cards say it's here for a long, long time. It's supposed to be here. So let's see now what the angels want to tell you about love, Aquarius. Communicate clearly. So really being clear about the qualities you want, the type of relationship, and in communicating with each other, not being afraid to. Listen to your intuition. You have cards of deep spirituality here. So settle the mind down. Be on that spiritual beam. Guide me is what I hear them saying. Guide me. Open your arms up wide. Palms out. Guide me. Kind of like this character, okay, with his palm and the, the white rose up. You have helpful people. So I feel like, too, if you are single, you're going to have people inviting you and saying, come here, come there, do it. You're ready, they say. And you've got to choose a new direction. So get yourself out there if you are single. Be out in new environments because they're out there trying to find you. Good things are on the way. Yes, it's in the cards. I love you, too, Aquarius. And I'll be back again soon.